I've got a list of things that I want to get done before spring gets here. It really feels like spring's already here. It's like in the 60s today. And you can hear the spring peepers back there. I think they're taunting me. Got these things that need to be done and they're just starting to pile up on me. Kind of like this pile of manure right here. And this pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger as the winter goes on, which is normal, but I usually try to pick it up a few times throughout the year so it doesn't get this big and make so I can't even close my gate and stuff. I usually get it down on the compost pile, but it hasn't been taken down there yet because my tractor tire is flat. And it's not just flat where I put air in it. Obviously I would have done that already. It's flat because it's leaking around the valve stem here. I was thinking maybe that it was so rusted out that like I was gonna have to weld something on the rim, but I'm hoping, really hoping, it's not too rusted out by the valve stem that I'll actually have to like weld something on. I'm hoping I'll just be able to replace the valve stem. Daddy. Should I go put you in the swing? Yeah. Okay. So I figured out what I need to know for now. I'm not going to be able to fix it right now. I'm going to have to break this tire bead and get inside the tire to be able to get that valve stem out from the inside and put a new one in. It doesn't look like any of the local stores have a bead breaker like what I need for this thing. So I ordered one online. It's not coming until next week. Should be pretty simple once I'm able to break that bead and get in there. I was using this jack here and it wasn't working out very well. I didn't have anything to break this bead. So I ordered a couple things, hoping this evening yet that I can get this tire fixed so that I've got my tractor to be able to haul away that manure and smooth out this tree row that I cleared. Because we want to plant grapes here. And to plant grapes, I need to build a trellis. To build a trellis, I need to set some posts. To set some posts, I need to dig some holes. And I don't want to do this by hand. I want to do them with my tractor. So my tractor needs to get fixed. I also ordered more lumber from the Amish sawmill to build more raised beds like this for our garden. And to be able to put these in the ground, I'm gonna to need to dig some holes for the posts that go in in the corners. And I'm gonna to have to be able to dump dirt in them. All that could be done by hand, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna to need to have my tractor fixed for that too. So I got a new jack. I think this kind is gonna work better for my situation here. And I also got this bead breaker. So this thing is supposed to be able to clamp on the rim, on the tire, and be able to pop that bead so I can get inside there to pull the old valve stem out. And I got some new valve stems. Hopefully it'll seal up and we'll be able to just put air in it and be done. Hopefully it'll seal up and we'll be able to just put air in it and be done. So the first thing gotta do is get it jacked back up, get it on some blocks so there's pressure off of the tire and so then it's nice and solid and we take that tire off. It's way easier than that other jack. I've got the valve stem up here because there's water in this tire to give it some weight and stability. Now we gotta try to get this bead breaker on there. This would be a lot easier if the wheel was taken off of the tractor, but I really don't want to. So what we're doing is just cranking it on there, getting that part down in behind the rim. Oh man, look at that. Oh, I'll lift these arms up. Now we just gotta crank this puppy up. Unfortunately, I think I pushed the rest of the old valve stem in there so i guess it's just gonna ride around in there forever and hey i'm not gonna try to fish it out of there so i don't know how well you can see this but over on this side i got it loosened up a bunch more and right there is my hole that i need to put the valve stem in it's really not rusted very bad at all around there so i'm just gonna clean it up with a wire brush and then stick a new valve stem in there we should be able just to slide this up in there tighten it up hopefully it'll work all right try to get it stuck in here without dropping it inside the tire Oh, that fits beautiful. Tightening up nicely. What? That's a tube. I thought this was tubeless. Oh my goodness. This just got to be a whole other ball game. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man, since that's a tube in there, I think I'm gonna have to take this tire all the way off, get a tube for it, and get a tube in there. Oh. That just doesn't sound fun at all. Well, one thing's for sure, we're not gonna finish it tonight. Might as well go in for supper. It's been a few weeks now. I ordered a tube for the tractor tire and it's here. 
But then I started looking into what I need to do to refill the tire with something to weigh it down. That's common to do to help with better traction and to make it so it's harder to tip over. And it looked kind of like a big job to me. So I've been procrastinating. But now I really need to get it done because I've got my projects that are being held up because I don't have my tractor to use. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be picking up the supplies that I need to fill that tire up. And in the meantime, I've got some other stuff that I need to do around here. Oh man, the garden shed is kind of a mess and I need to get that tiller out of here. Apparently the lawnmower has a dead battery. And my tiller has a flat tire. At least this one's easy to fix. Oh man, it looks like there's a mouse nest in there again. I don't know, let's see what happens. Look at this right here. For those of you who don't know, who might not remember, there was a hoop house right there. A big ugly hoop house. This greenhouse needs to get out of here. And instead of using it to grow nice things, it grew really nice patch of thistles. I wanna till it, so then maybe it'll get the seeds to germinate, and then I can till it again before we're ready to plant in there. But we're gonna be planting strawberries here because these strawberries here are a few years old, a couple years old, so time to plant a new patch. We'll be harvesting from this one this year yet but we'll plant that new patch to be harvesting from that one next year. So besides that hoop house getting moved, which I am super excited about, I also did a pregnancy test for Maddie and she is pregnant. Yes, two legs, she's pregnant, woo! Can't tell you how happy I am about that. I also finished clearing this section of the fence row, so that's ready for a grape trellis. Seems as as I can dig holes with my tractor for it. And the grape plants are ordered. I also cut down the raspberry plants. That needed to be done before spring came. I also ordered the lumber for more raised beds. I'm putting in eight more raised beds down here and that should be getting that lumber within a couple weeks, I think. Check this out. That's potatoes. They got chopped by the tiller. We threw some plants in here in the fall. Maybe those somehow rooted and grew potatoes. <laughs> That's really crazy. Mm, I just love freshly tilled dirt and this dirt is really, really nice. That's all I'm gonna do for now until tomorrow when I get the stuff that I need to fix that tractor tire. Got the calcium chloride. I had to really look around for that. Lowe's had it in stock, but they had packed it away since people aren't using ice melt right now anymore. So I had to order that and then go pick it up later. I got the air water adapter kit. This is to screw onto the valve and to get the liquid into there. And it hooks up to a garden hose. So I think it's gonna work really well. But the garden hose is gonna have to come out of something. So I got this electrical thingy here to screw into the bottom of a bucket. And then this garden hose adapter to screw into that and then to the garden hose. So I'm gonna have to make that thing and put it up really high for the calcium chloride mixture to be in a bucket and to gravity feed in there. Some people do it with a pump, but I didn't want to buy a pump, so I'm gonna do it the cheap way. It'll take a little longer, but I mean, it's not like I have to sit there and watch it drain into there necessarily. But here's the thing. I thought I was gonna be able to do it with the tire on the tractor, but I think it's just not gonna work like that. Since that tube was leaking in there, that calcium chloride is getting onto that steel rim and that's gonna be rusting it out. People really like are trying to get away from using calcium chloride in tractor wheels because it rusted out so bad, but it's the very cheapest option. And if I had a brand new tractor, I would use something else. There's something called rim guard that people use. It's like beet juice that doesn't corrode wheels or anything. It's really expensive. It's like about four times as expensive as this calcium chloride. And with this old of a tractor, this rim's already been exposed to the calcium chloride. I don't think it'd be worth it. So I'm gonna have to take this wheel off and then try to get the tire at least one side over the rim so I can be able to get inside there and clean off any calcium chloride, get the tube out, put the new tube in. So this is gonna be a lot bigger job than I thought it was gonna be. Bet these bolts have been here a really long time and they're pretty rusty. So I don't know how easy they're gonna come out. Hey, that wasn't bad at all. Still on those blocks there. I've got something in front of the wheels over there and up in front, the bucket's on the ground, so I think it's pretty good and solid. 
What do you think of that, Cade? Crazy tire. This bead breaker right here, totally worth its weight in gold. The bead is broken the whole way around the tire, so now the hard part. I'm gonna dump some soapy water on, so hopefully it slides a little easier. It's gonna be getting the tire on the outside of that rim. I've done like little tires and stuff, but never anything this big. Sweet. Ugh. That doesn't look too bad. So I need to get that old yucky tube out of there. I'm gonna scrub this up, try to clean the calcium chloride from inside the tire. Put a new tube in, yeah. Clouds are looking a little scary. I want to clean off as much of this calcium chloride stuff as possible so that it doesn't keep rusting on this rim. It actually doesn't look near as bad as I expected it to look, which is really nice. The camera's getting wet. Guess we gotta run inside. I did some mudding with the four wheeler. Got all covered in mud, had to clean myself up a bit. Still crazy windy, but at least it stopped raining. Sun's out, this weather is just kind of nuts. So keep working on cleaning this thing up and get ready to put the new tube in here. You know, I was just thinking about it, that I really could take this somewhere and get it done. And if you have the same problem, you could too. Well, where's the fun in that? And I want to show you that if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm ready to put the new tube in there. I'm going to wipe it up with some soapy water so it slides on there nicely. I want to be really sure when you're doing this that there's no like burrs or sharp edges on the edge of your rim. Now I just got to be super careful putting this on here, sticking the tire tools in here, that I don't hit that tube. Almost there. Now I can roll it up to the barn, put some air in it, see if this thing works. I'm going to soap this thing up real good again so that it can push out onto the outside to set the bead a lot easier, hopefully. Oh, nice catch me. Got it aired up and it is tight all the way around. That is looking, woo, woo could catch me again. It's seated really nice from what I can tell. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it over to the tractor, stick it on there, let the air back out. So this is what came out. It's like the entire valve stem. And then there's this bigger thing on here. And this guy, I'm guessing, threads right on there. Then we're able to hook a garden hose into here. Had to let the air out first so that it's low enough to get back on here. I almost put the tire on backwards. Ah. Okay, now it's time to fill this guy up with a calcium chloride mixture, but first, lunch. It's pretty windy and the temperature has dropped. I really want to get this done, so I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to move it over by the fort over there so that I can set my bucket of solution up on the porch and have it go down into the tire. Something like a 55 gallon drum would be pretty ideal, but I don't have one that I can put a hole in. so. What I'm going to do is use a five gallon bucket and put an adapter thing for the garden hose on the bottom side of that and put it up there on the porch and then I'll just be able to carry buckets of the stuff up there and I'll just mix it a five gallon bucket at a time and let it drain in there. I think that'll work pretty good. Now it needs to be jacked back up and let the air out again. According to some charts that I found, I'm going to need to put 30 gallons of water and about 150 pounds of calcium chloride in there to get the right mixture so that it doesn't freeze. So I've got three bags of the calcium chloride, 150 pounds. What I'm gonna do is fill up a five gallon bucket of water and then pour half of it in with half a bag of calcium chloride, mix it up, fill it all the way, the rest of the way up, take it up there, pour it in, and we'll just do that five gallons at a time. So you have to do this a number of times and I don't know how long it'll take, but we'll at least get started with it. I've got somewhere to be tonight. I don't know, could take a while. It's going fairly slow, but it's definitely going down. So when I jacked it up a little bit, it sucked the stuff in there. So I'm gonna go pour some more in and do it again. This was a long and slow process of just mixing and dumping. The stuff didn't mix in very well, so I dumped stuff back and forth from bucket to bucket and stirred it 
then poured it in and had to wait for it to go down. Found out that it worked pretty good to let the jack down a little bit to squeeze air out and then jack it back up and suck water in and just did that over and over. But I finally got it done. I got it all in, all except for the last five gallon bucket went really, really slow. So I just stopped and that's good enough for me. Then I made sure to clean everything up really, really well because that stuff isn't toxic, but it will rust anything metal and I just didn't want that stuff. It's great for killing weeds though, so dumping it on the driveway won't hurt anything. So it's been a few days since I got the tractor tire finished. It was so cold and rainy, I just didn't have the time to finish up the video, but it's done. It's holding up great. I'm able to use my tractor now. So now what I need to do is take my blade, smooth it out where I want to put the grape trellis, grab the post hole digger and dig some holes and put up that grape trellis. But that's another story for another time. Because we're more than farmers. Oh man, but I dropped it. I fill it up with the liquid. Yeah. This wind is just annoying. <laughs> 